philosophy. But now we're in this, you know, the Trump era, basically, where everything that comes out of Hollywood and everything that these critics touch has to be some type of propaganda. And if it doesn't push forward their individual message on politics or social issues, then they're going to hold the film accountable. It seems like the critics specifically judge movies based on the identity politics and the agenda in it or the lack of agenda because if it has a lack of agenda in it then they will also hold it uh hold it accountable for that and take credit away from it um it's just really weird how they do these things um ultimately the majority of critics don't seem to judge movies based on writing uh or story or character development they're more worried about the agenda being pushed into it this is why the last jedi has a 90 something percent on rotten tomatoes uh it, it's really just a strange dynamic going on as much as i like to brag about how much i'm right i'm not always right i have made mistakes and i've owned those mistakes when i've made them i've done that plenty of times because guess what i'm a human being and human beings make mistakes but generally, I am right about a lot of the things I talk about on this channel. And one thing I have made a point about over the last few years is how Hollywood and the mainstream and the critics, the shill critics out there, have completely shifted away from judging a movie on if it's good or is it bad based on the movie itself, based on the writing, based on the characters, based on the plot. They have moved away from that and they have moved into a situation where they have literally made race and gender a plot point. And they will judge a movie based on the race and the gender. That is ridiculous, and people said, that's ridiculous, Jeremy, they're not doing that, they're not doing that. There are many videos on this channel over the course of the last few years where I have talked about race and gender and identity politics being a plot point to critics. I used to follow Rotten Tomatoes, I used to pay attention to Metacritic, I used to really think that there was some good information in there, but in the last few years, especially since 2016 and the Orange Man Bad got elected, that has changed a lot. The shill media has changed a lot. And we are at a time now where Rotten Tomatoes has been completely compromised, Metacritic has been completely compromised, and so many other people that used to be respectable have been lost to TDS and social justice nonsense. Now we move into this, where the Oscars, the Oscars have introduced the inclusion and representation standards for the Oscars. To be eligible for Best Picture consideration for the 96th Oscars, uh, a film must meet two out of four standards. Uh, a, on-screen representation, themes and narratives. B, creative leadership and project team. Industry access and opportunities. Audience development. This is real. Like, this is, I mean, I'm not, I, you would think this is a meme. You would, you would think that this is a meme that someone put on Reddit or 4chan to make fun of the Oscars. But this is really, this is the reality of what we're dealing with here. Movies are now going to be judged on the identity politics surrounding them. What have we been telling you? What have we been telling you for years? That Lucasfilm, that Marvel, that so many other of these studios and directors, they have gone full woke and they are now making movies for social justice reasons. Not to entertain, not to honor the mythology, not to tell a good story, to push an agenda. And they have literally admitted it right here and there. It's funny how the closer we get to the election, the more all of this nonsense starts to be exposed because they are losing their minds and they are pushing so hard now they don't even know how to be subtle about it anymore we have seen the full destruction of the disney star wars trilogy in the last few weeks by the cast members coming out and saying exactly what myself and so many other fans have been saying for years and we weren't saying it when it was convenient or popular we weren't saying it when the bandwagon was filling up we were saying it when everybody was calling us names and dismissing us as toxic man babies and we have also been calling out this bullshit with the oscars and rotten tomatoes and everything else it has been compromised 
I say this as someone that's been paying attention to Rotten Tomatoes for a long, long time. I have always paid attention to Rotten Tomatoes. I've always appreciated Rotten Tomatoes. I've always appreciated that it gave me a perspective outside of my own opinions so that I could see how movies were being perceived from other people. But in the last few years, Rotten Tomatoes has been absolutely positively compromised as has the media, as has the critics, as has Hollywood. All of it has been compromised. It is all trash, it is all garbage. So now, moving forward, the Oscars are not going to be about good movies, which they really haven't been in a long time anyway, but it's not going to be about good movies, it's going to be about the political messaging within it. Do you know how ridiculous that is? That is ridiculous. It is so funny. It's so funny that they have become exactly what we predicted they would be. So many people said, you guys are just pushing this. You're making, you're making stuff up. This is not true. It's absolutely true. It was always true. This is hilarious. Again, the closer we get to the election, the more you see the mask falling off and you start to exceed the exposure of the nonsense that we have been telling you was going on. It's only going to get crazier as we get closer to November. But that is where we are. Unbelievable. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. How hilarious is this going to be? I mean, this is a joke. This is a, an absolute joke. And I can't wait. I can't wait to get to 2024 to watch this shit show unfold. This is so funny. It's all about identity politics. Entertainment, non-existent. Now, it's all about identity politics. And that is so beautiful. Thank you for confirming that everything we have been saying is 100% spot on. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Uh, Solo Lost Money Raiders are weird. The Oscars are a joke, and we will talk to you later.